Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another video and today's video is going to be about make about hair. It's going to be about hair tools, specifically hot tools. First of all, there's three reasons why I'm really excited for this video. One of them is because I really like hot tools. I own three of their products already and I really like them, I enjoy them. They have never given me any problems. I do own other brands, but for some reason I always gravitate towards hot tools. And they were kind enough to send me, I think, three three hot tools and like I said they have not given me any problems so why not and another one because I'm pretty sure one of the tools that they're sending is one that I already needed and I was thinking of purchasing they're already sending it to me so amazing so anyways if you want to see how these products work just keep on watching Okay, first of all, one of the tools that they sent in by themselves, it was this one. If you haven't seen my videos before, I did have a review on this product already and I love it. I still use it. Mine is just purple, but they did send this one and I'm so thankful for it. But yes, quick review or opinion. I love it. I still use it. It's amazing. And yeah. If you want to see more details about it, go to my previous video about the hot hair hot tools. I reviewed both of their hair drying brushes and one of them I really like, which is the one that I just showed to you. But now let's just get to the box. I want to open the box. My, my, my thing is already coming off. So here's the box. Here you go. Imagine your style and I don't think I'll be able to show you guys so much, but oh, great. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I love this. Guys, I have one of this. The, not this one, not this hair brand. These style of hairbrushes and I really like it. I was thinking about another one because the other one already rotates from the handle. This is awesome. Like, thank you. <laughs> um, I was also thinking of getting a, a blow dryer brush, which is amazing. So I'm gonna have to put this down. Ooh. So we got a hairband. Nice. I could have really used this like a week ago, but I was probably using that. You know, this is amazing for like if I want to hold my hair up while doing my makeup or something. <gasps> Is this a is this a mat like to put the hot tool? I bet it is. I bet it is. Yeah, it is. Wow, it's so thin. I don't have to buy another one. Yay. We got some, what are these called in English? Like I have the word in Spanish, but what are it? Cloths? Hair cloths, mini hair cloths. Okay, this is to put for travel, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, so it's to put it away. It's like this, you bend it. I'm assuming you hang or like wrap the product right here and then fold it and put it away. I mean, I never realized how much I need traveling stuff because I do travel like not to a lot of places, same places every time, but I do travel and I need stuff to help me make the travel a lot less chaotic with makeup and hair tools and all that, which is, I mean, this is perfect. Thank you again. So now to the hot tools. I told you guys I was getting a hair dryer. So here's the thing. I was gonna buy a hair dryer. Here's a hair dryer. I was gonna buy a hair dryer because my husband already set up the hair dryer that we already have, which is from Hot Tools as well. Not the, the same one, but it's another one from Hot Tools. It's already in our master bathroom, but I do not really use that bathroom. I use more of the guest bathroom. And sometimes I wanna use the hair dryer and the guest bathroom, and then I have to put it back because my husband needs it. Anyways, I know he can get it back, but um, we do have some things set up it anyways so i was thinking of buying my own but now i don't have to because i even got a better one i assume hot tools pro signature powerful efficient drying and airflow control for reduced frizz and smooth finish charcoal ceramic for increased softness and shine oh it's not so small i mean i guess a size that you would expect open it right here i'm assuming it's very light. So it has ergonomic design for lightweight feel and easy handling. Amazing for my really weak wrist. Three heat and two speed settings for customized styling. So this video, I feel like it's gonna be perfect because the other tool is going to be a steam styler. What? Yeah, so Hot Tools Pro Signature Steam Styler, 30% less heat for healthy looking sleek styles and weight. So, you know, I was always curious about these kind of tools. I did think of buying one, not gonna lie. I did, not lately, but I did have like, I was really close to buy one. But now I don't have to and that's amazing. 
Okay, features. So it says one and a half charcoal ceramic plates are great on second day hair. Ooh, I just washed my hair. Brusebear holds enough water for one to two silent sessions. Heat control settings from 300 Fahrenheit to 450 Fahrenheit for all hair types. Good for straight or wavy hair. My hair is wavy, amazing. Universal dual voltage, styles with or without steam. Okay, all right. So that means we're gonna be able to use it without the steam. But I'm not gonna be like that. I will try maybe one side with the steam and the other one without the steam. Let's do that. Because I want to try this and I tr want to try it two ways, I'm just going to be using the hair dryer as I would dry my hair without planning to get it done. And because my hair is going to be so puffy, it's going to show a better review on this tool over here. Let me take my hair out. Here goes my hair. Okay, earrings out. Okay, we are going to be using this brush though. Okay, so it says for smooth and shine titanium thermal vented powder brush. Wait, so it's still like used with the dryer? Oh yeah, okay. So it says white gold titanium for even heat distribution. Activated charcoal infused bristles helps extend your style for days, detangles and smooths hair while blow drying. Help by frizz for healthy looking shiny hair, lightweight for easy styling, great for all hair types and length. I thought it was like the one that I have. Never mind. Okay, so this is to use to dry your hair. But again, we're not trying to style our hair. We can't because we want to use the hair strainer. Okay, so I'm just going to apply some heat protectant. I'm trying to get this done. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, so I like to break loose my hair, make sure that there's not big chunks so it helps to dry my hair faster. It says six feet, didn't it? I thought it said six feet. Is it six feet? Maybe it should be. Okay. First of all, let me just say for the sound of it, it's pretty quiet. Right here is off. It has two speeds. Right here is the first one, then the second one that's a little bit stronger. The one that I was on right now was the first one. And it has three heat levels right there. The first one, second one, and third one. I'm going to try it on the lightest first. And then let's see how it sounds, okay? This is a speed one. Pretty cool. Okay, you guys can hear me, right? I'm pretty sure you can hear me, even with this on. This is not bad either. Let me take this off because we're not trying to. Do I have to have it off? How do I take it off? Oh. Okay, before I finish drying my hair, I am gonna be honest. It's not as strong as the other one. And I don't know if it's because it's meant to have something like this or if it's meant to be like that, but it felt stronger when it had this on. But I mean, I honestly don't mind it. It did dry enough like right now to like keep going through the day. I'm gonna dry my hair all the way and then I'll be right back. So surprise, this is how my hair looks when I just blow dry it. Like just no styling, just random blow drying. I told you guys I was gonna get puffy. Anyways, I am surprised. I didn't feel like it was strong enough, but um, it did dry my hair pretty fast. Like, I mean, not faster than the other one, but I, I don't know. Because with the other one, you feel, you have the sense that it dries your hair faster because it's blowing like hair really fast or like it has a lot of power to it. But this one also did the job and it dried my hair pretty fast, which you don't feel like it has a lot of power though I don't know I love it though I am surprised even better because this one's gonna be mine <laughs> so this is how my hair looks when it's already just dried I mean it feels dry it's dry but here's what I wanted to do I want to bring the other one that I already have just to show you the difference of how loud it is okay so this is the one that I have I told you it's from hot tools so this one uh, let me put it on the low not as loud I know and now this one on low you guys hear that? It's still louder. This one's still louder. So level two for this one. Now this one. Now side by side. You guys hear that? And it is because this one does have more power.
It feels like about the same power. I don't know how that works. But if I have to recommend one, I recommend this one because it's a lot quieter. And if you're gonna use it for drying your hair, it does the job just as fine. I didn't find that it took me longer, which is more important in my opinion. And more quiet and lighter. It does feel lighter. So both of them are amazing. Both of them work really great. So obviously I have the newer version. So I'm gonna take the newer version. Okay, so now we're opening this one over here this one over here and I'm assuming this is to put the water in there the glove so you don't get yourself burnt and this one over here wow wow and it has two and a half inch blade which is amazing that means you have to pass your hair through these blades a lot less times than it would if it was one inch so it has two levels of heat low and high and then what is this over here this is for the so you can see the water over here okay and you can see the levels and the heat temperature right here on the sides of of the inner area Okay, it feels light, it feels comfortable, and I have the mat over here, so <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I have not owned one of these before, so for this one, we have to make sure we read the instructions. The pictures, I like when they have pictures. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, so it has one hour automatic shut off, um, lock and unlock plates. How do you do that? It didn't show me. Oh, here we go. Right here it has the bottom. Oh no, wait, that's to open the water thingy. That's why we need the instructions, okay? Okay, so on and off power buttons are on the inside over here. And these are to set the temperatures as well. So this one on the side is to adjust um, the steam. Obviously it says right there, steam control. It has a cool tip so you can grab it. Right Right here so it says interruptor but oh i'm sorry this is Spanish. it's right here so i locked it and then out i was looking here from here up i was not paying attention to this end but it's right here okay so i unlocked it there we go lock it okay okay Oh wait, Resavior Latch Lock. See, English is my second language, okay? So I just realized what Resavior Latch Lock meant. So that meant this part, okay? And then on the bottom, it had the explanation of it being the locker. I mean, I figured it out. Luckily, I have clean water. This is drinking water, so I'm just gonna use this because I'm lazy again. Make sure this doesn't fall on the cable. Imagine that. No, don't. Let me fill this up first. Okay, so I filled it up. I'm not sure if it's completely full, but hopefully you guys can see the water is right here. I'm moving it just so you guys see like how the water is moving. Hopefully that helps you see how full it is. I'm gonna put this back. It's not on, so we're safe. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. Hopefully you guys can see the light. Can you guys see the light? Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna put it at 350. And it looks like it's heating up. I don't know if you guys see the light going up and down. I think that means it's heating up. Up. Hi! Hi! Okay, do not do that at home, please. Do not test it out with your... That was fast. I did not expect it to be that hot that fast. No, seriously. Do not do that at home. Don't be doubling me, please. Um. So yeah, it's now set at 350. So let's do this. Let me show you the first strand. You can see my hair is puffy using the plate. Okay, right when I was in the middle of the strand, the camera turned off because um, it ran out of battery. So I did not see how it came out. I literally just went <laughs> and changed the battery. Um, my hair is still warm, but this is a strand. I'll show you another strand right now. Let me just finish this one. I'm gonna go another time. Wow, wow, you guys see that? Okay, let me show you another one. Here we go. Here you go guys. Wow, that was just one pass guys and it feels really soft and silky. Let me go another pass. Guys, I love it. Just two passes and my hair is straight. Usually I take about <laughs> probably three or four passes before I move on to the next strand. Hopefully you guys can see right there. One more. You guys see that? Let me just look at that. Wow. This is why I was about to buy a two inch hair strainer. Look at that. That's just one pass. One pass. I mean, you don't have to do the second pass, but it's just my, I don't know, the 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 feeling of satisfaction, like oh super straight. I look at that. 
I promise, I promise I'm not trying to sell it. Like, I'm really amazed. Look at that. I hope you guys can see how frizzy and puffy it is. And then I pass it. I mean, don't pay attention to this side. I could see that I didn't grab this side. I could feel that I couldn't grab this side. But this side, it definitely went through. Look at that. Well, now you can see the difference. Look, I'm going to put it all together and go again. Look at that, guys. I am in love. This is just two passes in every strand. Just two. I could easily just do one and my hair would have been fine, I feel. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at that. It's shiny. It's silky. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Look at the difference. So now that we did this side, let's move on to this side. Now for this one, this just makes me even more excited to try it with this theme. <sighs> okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna go ahead and try it with this theme. Okay, for this part, I am gonna grab on some of these claws so I can just put this hair away. I mean, it's not completely away. I'm just putting it to the side. I'm gonna brush it. Okay, so we're gonna turn on this theme. We're gonna try the low first. You guys can see, I hopefully you guys can see. Pay attention to this button over here. When I turn it on, it stands out so that means that this thing over here is what's gonna activate it once it touches here and pushes so okay it's on and we're gonna do the first pass you guys ready all right I don't know if it's supposed to make a sound I mean, I see no difference, but we'll see. I don't hear a sound either, so should we try the high? Okay, let's try the high. See how that works. Okay, I hear make a sound now. I am gonna try to just go twice, just so we can be a little bit more accurate. Let's try to get these little hairs over here. Now, for these front hairs, I always tend to go inward on the root. Okay. Now, what do you guys think? Do you guys see a difference? Let me go equal here because I don't want the like extra hair to be a plus. But I I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this one's more straight. Um, this one feels more, I don't know, it feels like fresher, I guess. And I'm assuming it's the steam. Yeah, it kind of feels more fresh than this one. Mm -hmm. This one feels more, I guess it could be the, the heat protectant, more oily. But this one feels silky, but fresh and like voluminous. I hope I can explain myself. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. But yes, this is how they both look. Here you go. This one's the one without the steam. And this one's with the steam. This one looks more oily in my opinion. More shiny. This one looks shiny but dry. I don't know how to explain it. But I hope you guys can see what I'm trying to say. Um, Let's bring this hair back. Okay. So now you're supposed to be able to do curls with this. Let's just try to do some curls. Okay. Let's see right here. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna do curls all over right now. Okay guys, so this is the final look. This is how my hair looks after all those curls. I did keep it in the steam setting. So these curls are already now on the steam. I just took half of the heat, which I thought it was just gonna be one. So that means I'm good for another use. If I fill it up, it would allow me to do my hair twice. All right, so what I have to say about this. The reason why I like tools like this is because my hair is super long. As you guys can see, it's all the way over here. While this can take up to I don't know 10 minutes to anybody it would take me about 20 minutes but with this I just had to pass it through my hair twice and my hair was done and I'm pretty sure it's gonna take me probably a couple minutes more if I want to curl my hair like this so if you're all about getting your hair done quicker not damaging your hair as much which is the feature of the steam I assume that's meant to not damage your hair as much also the fact that it has to 300 fair 
Fahrenheit for your styling. It's a lot better in my opinion. I did all this with just 350 Fahrenheit. I love that you can do the waves as well. And I did notice a little bit of a difference with the steam side. It makes your hair look healthier. It feels healthier. It feels, I don't know, fresher. I mean, it did do the job over here and it looks amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong, but if it's gonna make my hair look uh, fresher and healthier, then obviously I will be using the heat. But if you don't care about that, we also have the option of not having to use the steam. Again, guys, I'm not trying to sell it. I did get sent these products for free, but my review and how I feel about this is truthfully and 100% real. I'm really happy for it. I'm just really happy. The hair dryer because I needed it and it works. I mean, it does the job I, exactly how the other one. I don't know how because it feels like it's less power, but who cares? It works just as fine and I'm happy for it. Um, If you're looking for a straightener that's two inch, hot tools, baby, hot tools. Thank you, hot tools for sending me these products. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you would like me to review any products, any hair products, any hair tools as well. I'm willing to make the purchase to make a review for you guys. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also find me on Instagram as Adelisa Wala. And hopefully, I will see you in my next video. Bye.